Hey, what's up, loves? This is Shayla89, and we're back with my little series I call Spoopy Spoopy Reacts. Um, if my loves here want to come up with a name for my little horror in it animations or regular animations let me know in the comments what y'all wanted to call what y'all wanted to be called um I feel like I need to set my camera up a little higher um also besides the loves what else do y'all want to be called because right now y'all sound like the loves diaper but <laughs> yeah y'all call my loves also announcement I will be making after one of the videos. I'll let y'all know. When. But yeah. So this one is called I Missed My School Bus Scary Story Scary School Story Animated by IMR Scary Tales. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Make sure I'm recording too. Okay. Let me set y'all. There we go. First of all, bring y'all down just a smidge. Please do press the bell icon after subscribing to the channel because I have lots of interesting stories to tell you. It would be great if you like and share the video as well. I remember it like it was yesterday. I woke up late thanks to me forgetting to set up my alarm the night before. When I saw 7 a.m. on the clock, I sprang out of bed and began pulling my clothes on furiously. Hold up, I just thought about something in the title. How is missing the school bus scary? I mean, unless you got that type of parent that would make it scary. Because you know, a black parent was like, yeah, you, if you miss your school bus, I ain't taking you to school. That type of thing. And you don't want to tell your parent that you missed the bus? Okay. I needed to be at my bus stop by 7-5. So that meant I had no time to have breakfast today. I hurriedly scooped my books and worksheets into my backpack and dashed down the stairs and out of the front door. There was my bus. The last kid got on board before the bus took off. I hastened my sprint as the bus began pulling off. But the driver sped up and I was left behind, dejected, listless and without a mode of transportation. My school was about 20 minutes away from the bus stop. I had no I'm money sorry, away, and walk. had never really ridden the public bus. My 10-year-old mind was in a complete state I of panic. Walked. I knew my mom would kill me if she found out from my teacher that I had skipped school. For around 10 to 15 minutes, I was standing over there, puzzled, thinking, what to do next? Walk, child. I looked up and noticed a car pull up in front of me. The driver's window was already rolled down and I could mm -mm. see a middle-aged mm -mm. man sitting in nope. the driver's seat gazing at me. Mm -mm. He flashed Walk me a school. toothless smile before speaking. Walk. What? He looked suspect. Walk to school. It's 20 minutes away and you walk pretty fast. As a kid, you can make that. Make it there, maybe about 15 or 10 minutes, depending on how fast you walk over him. He look creepy, he looks suspect. Walk. Wrong, kid. I missed my bus, I said with an air of defeat. The man stared at me for a moment before responding. You need a ride? Uh -uh. I had been taught to never talk to or accept rides from strangers. But you're talking about now. I was a desperate 10 year old who didn't want to get into trouble for missing school. I would accept that yeah, trouble that day. I said. I hopped in and slammed the door behind me. The inside of the man's car was filthy. There were cans and old food packages on the back seat and the smell was overwhelming. I coughed and reached to let down the window. Sorry kid, the window doesn't work and neither does the door from the inside. See, said the red man. Flag. I looked at the man look who was sus. looking he at me like intently. Why he wearing a coat? There was a hint of glee so, in his dark right. eyes, and I was beginning to feel very uncomfortable. Where do you go to school? He asked, and I told him. 
The man smiled again and began driving. When I looked at the driver's seat closely, I saw what appeared to be a little girl's rainbow colored bracelet hanging on it. My uneasiness was out of control and though I tried to look away quickly, the old man caught me looking at it. Oh, this! It was my daughter, Jessica's. She's no more now. I think about her every day. I stared out of the window to notice that the man was going in a completely different direction than See? what my bus usually takes. What what happened to her? I asked numbly. No, the you shouldn't even be asking what happened to her. You should be asking why are we going in a different direction? Answering. Well, Pay she attention. passed away in a car accident. The roads are dangerous, you know, especially in this town. My heartbeat was increasing by the second. I wondered if the old man had been lying about the door not working. Honestly. I was strongly considering yanking at it anyway. How old are you, young lady? The man asked. Then I replied quickly, trying to hide my nervousness but failing miserably. That's how old my Jessica was when she passed. I looked out of the window and I felt relieved. We were on the street my school was on. How could have we gotten here so quickly? The man might have taken some kind of shortcut. I muttered to myself. The car pulled down in front of my school. You know why he got there so quickly? Because he and knows walked school. over to my side and opened the door for me. I climbed out of the car and said, Thank you for the ride, sir. The man nodded and gave me another smile. He got back into the car and drove away. I watched him go, wondering what the hell had just happened. What had my 10-year-old intuition been telling me? This man was clearly harmless or else I Lies. probably wouldn't be at school right now. I shook my head and walked into the building. To my surprise, all the teachers were crying. I didn't find out why until a while later. My bus had never made it to the school. A car had hopped unexpectedly into the bus driver's lane and he had swerved hard, causing the bus to topple oh. over the side of the bridge. There were no survivors. The next morning, I was reading the- Hold up, 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 hold up. The one I'm getting teary eyes. Not So he kind of saved you, but I'm wondering if he, he's the one that caused the bus crash. The newspaper. There was news about the accident of my school bus. Also, sorry to pause it again. Was that bracelet? For one of the kids off the bus. There were photos and names of the students and the bus driver who lost their lives in the accident. I was sad looking at the pictures and reading their names. There was also a picture of the car driver and his daughter whose car bumped onto my school bus. I was shocked to see the picture of the car driver. It was the same man who gave me a ride to my school in his car yesterday. I remember him telling me that his daughter had died in a car accident. I looked at the name of his daughter. It was Jessica. I just realized that the man who dropped me at my school was already dead. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was something different from what I expected. I'm expecting he's on the car. Oh. Cars the car um accident. The bus accident. So there's a chance. Oh, wait. Yep. Okay, so how I'm seeing this is the car and the bus both, you know, something happened to it. But she's seen the spirit. And the only reason why he knew how to get to the school so fastly because he's not he wasn't going the bus route is because he's been dropping his daughter off the school. So that's what I'm getting. Like, he already knew how to get there because his daughter goes to that school. But what I'm thinking is that the accident, because if he was already dead, that accident had to happen 
he had to cause an accident in order to die and it started to be gone. That's the only logical. That's the only way, not logical. I'm not gonna say logical. That's the only way I'm thinking how that happened. If y'all can tell me <laughs> what y'all think in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the notification bell to see more, or you know to get to get that notification of when I put videos up, which I don't know how long that's gonna be. I'll let y'all know for the last video. Um. Like I am our scary tales channel. I'll put them in the description below. I'll put this video in the description below. And subscribe to my channel too. Bye. Wait, this sound like what 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 this sound